let me start here. Myself, Satnam, I been doing a data science for a long time and our booth is right there at Calvia Technologies and after this talk, if you are more interested to know about deception and about our technology, just feel free to stop by there. We are also giving away a lot of goodies, so do stop by. So let me start about the deception. There are two things I want to tell you. Just two. Number one, we need to have new security tool. Why do we need that? And I will get into that. And that new security defense is a deception. And number two is, in order for this deception to be effective, you need to have a data science. And that's unique. You need to take the data science to guide the deception and also to create the context around the deception events. So we're going to talk about these two things. So we all know about kill chain, right? And I'm assuming that you, know, you folks are from information security area. So one of the important phase of kill chain is the lateral movement. And lateral movement is the time when attacker is spending a lot more time in the network to search for the treasure. And what is the treasure I'm talking about? The treasure is the source code, the customer data, credit card data, and so on, right? And during that time, if we detect adversary movement, then we can do a better control and we can prevent the data breaches. So in this picture, what we are showing is the attack starts from the endpoint, and they do a social engineering and you know, compromise one of the hosts, and they keep on moving in the network and do a lateral movement. And that's where we need to go and do a detection of the adversary. So if we talk about the traditional security controls, it's all parameter-based control, right? So if we, this is a picture of a fort, and this fort picture, what it shows that you, you make a big walls and it will stop the enemies coming in. And that's what is our current generation of security tools. Intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system, firewalls, everything is parameter-based control. But there are no parameters anymore. And what will happen if somebody comes to the fort or inside your enterprise with the proper credentials? In that case, it's going to happen, right? They will come and you can't stop them. So what we are saying is we're going to put the deception. So number one, what is the deception? Okay. And number two is how that deception should be played out. So deception has been there from a long time. And even, you know, on my T-shirt, there is a famous quote. And you can read that. You know, it has been there in the security defense, in also for in the nature from ages. But we have not been using it. So deception in the enterprise network means fake network ports, fake services, fake data, fake hosts, and also a lot of fake things which may trigger an alarm whenever somebody gets bumped onto it. So it is as if like you are putting a lot of landmines and if somebody gets bumped onto it, it's going to just do a bust. It's going to raise an alarm. So in our case, what we are doing is the deception needs to be there, but it got to be enterprise ready, right? And what do you mean by enterprise ready? It should be maintainable, it should be administratable, and also it should be scalable. So we project the deception on the enterprise network, and also we handle the scalability. We, we do a lot of, we can take it up to hundreds to one, and at the same time, we take care of the variety. So it takes care of the low, in, low super low, 
and high at all level. So once any of this uh, deception is triggered, then we do a whole bunch of data science around it. So we come into the data science part, and the way it starts is, let's say the deception event has triggered. We take the data from multiple data sources, so we take the data from network packets, from logs, but the big thing is you don't need to boil the ocean. You start from the deception event and then create the context around it. So you take the data and every all the data sources are actually filtered around the deception event and you, you don't need to boil the ocean. And then give the insights. And then one of the key insights what we give is the adversary traversal and profiling. And I will tell you in a minute what that is. But remember that all the different security data science, what we have seen so far is more on the philosophy of boiling the ocean. In this case, you already know the anomaly. And that anomaly is your deception event. So we start from there and we create the context around it. So how it is done? We take the data, a lot of security events data from Splunk, and we also take the deception events data. We correlate that, do an advanced data science, advanced analytics, and in this case, we are doing a graph analytics, and we give an insight about adversary lateral movement. So this shows the lateral movement of adversary. So a little bit about uh, how this works, actually. So as soon as a deception alert happens, we take that data and we build the graph. And when we are building the graph, one of the things you need to remember is you need to take care of the computational cost. So we build it in an incremental fashion. And another thing is you need to make sure that you have a framework. The framework what we have is signal to noise ratio framework. And that signal is computed from various security events. And as we are going further deeper into the graph, the signal will be fading. And this will be a lot more clear in my demo. So let me get into a demo of this particular feature along with the deception. So the way it is start is, uh, first of all, we have a deception control center. So you want to play out a deception on the enterprise, right? So you need to figure out what should be the deception density, what it should, what should be the type of deception, and then you play out that deception, you project that deception, right? Then another key question is, how do you visualize that? you need to make sure that you should be able to see for a big enterprise. So in this case, what we have is, on the left-hand side, we have this VLAN navigator. In this VLAN navigator, we can see for each VLAN what are the different deceptions and what are the different hosts and things like that. So that screen is different. On this screen, this can do a 3D rotation, and when you click on this, it will show you the deception activities and the deception events. So let me just play out that. So it shows a whole bunch of uh, deception events. And uh, one of the deception event which is shown here is, in this case, an adversary is, has a done a teller, telnet. So he did a telnet from 102.101 to one of the host here. And he didn't know that you know this one is a deception. So this raised an alert, and this alert is being shown here. So we take that alert. And we correlate that with the Splunk. 
a whole bunch of security events from Splunk. And this shows, this shows the adversary graph, what I was talking about. So what you will notice that, that adversary came from, first of all, he came from long way, but he touched multiple hosts, but this is the point where he got bumped onto one of the sensor. And we take the data from here, all the security events data, and we go and figure out what are the other hosts he may have touched. At that point, we do pruning of the various hosts and edges, and we go and keep on building this graph in an incremental fashion. And once the graph is being built, we tell that what's the most likely path which adversary may have taken. And this shows the most likely path which adversary may have taken. So in this case, the adversary actually touched four hosts. And we, we validated everything uh, for this particular scenario. So think about it. If we need to build this kind of a graph from scratch, using search queries, or somebody has to write the code for that from scratch, and also bring a whole bunch of rules around it, it would be impossible, near to impossible. Because this can become very, very complex. But with the power of deception and the data science together, we can generate such a graph. And the use case for this would be enormous because the incident response guy, he doesn't need to look for everything. He can just focus for the hosts. Those are in the most likely path. And he can just investigate those hosts. And first of all, he can investigate more for the tripping host. So, I will get back and just summarize my thoughts here. We talked about two things. Number one, for new security defense, we need to have a deception. And that deception should be playable. In a sense, you can project it at whatever level you want, super low, high, and all so on. And it should be like, you want to turn it off, turn it on, you should be able to do it. Number two, if you want the deception to be effective, it should blend with the neighborhood. And it should be effective in a sense that you can take the knowledge from there and give the insights about the adversary, what path he has taken, what things he has done, and what he is after. So all these insights, we can do it with the fusion of deception and the data science together. All right? So thank you very much for coming, and you know, I'll take the questions.